Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Uh, I did tweet out and uh, no one responded, so back onto Battle Spot. Uh, same team, I really want to get this to work. Two losses, did I even update that? Yeah, I did, okay. Two losses is not fun, not fun indeed. But it's not the end of the world, you know? I mean, it really isn't, it really isn't. We're learning the team. Uh, it does well on, on a showdown, so I don't see, you know, just probably... I, I know the last few battles we didn't really predict right for some things, so it wasn't the greatest thing in the world. But uh, we're searching for a trainer, it's taking some time. Um, so yeah, let me talk about to you about my time with Regigigas. Now, I use Regigigas, and it has potential. Um, slow start's actually kind of good for Trick Room because, you know, you're really slow. I like that, you're like base 50 speed. But, uh, unfortunately you're only base 80 attack, and you don't hit as hard. But, the more I thought about it, you know, the more I realized that Reggie Gigas gets a lot of support moves. So I was thinking, you know, it might actually be beneficial to try it in one team. Uh, it has really good defenses. Uh, let's see, it gets like pretty much any kind of move you could really think of. It gets um, helping hand. Does it get helping hand? No, no, no. I'm sorry. Wide guard. Wide guard is pretty important. I think it's a pretty good move. Um, but it, it gets it gets gravity, which is kind of cool. Um, that seems to be about it in the weird factor, but it has potential. It definitely has potential, so it's something that I would want to consider. Now, I don't like the look of this team, I'll be quite honest with you, I really don't like the look of this team. Uh, we've got a Clefairy, which, don't know how the hell we're going to be that. Uh, Slowbro, Greninja, Sableye, uh, Blaziken, and, um, Kecleon. So I'm going to start off with, uh, oh, I don't have Cresselia. I was going to say, I'm going to start off with Cresselia. No, actually, uh, Aromatisse is a little bit better for us. Um, so I'm going to start off with Aromatisse. Uh, I think Hammerupt would be good if he didn't have Slowbro. So I'm going to start off with Tangrowth instead. I'm going to bring Hammerupt, because Hammerupt's going to be very useful. And um, I think, I think Crawdon or Bisharp. Crawdon's going to beat Slowbro. Bisharp's going to be Clef... Fairy, um, but I have Tangrowth for Bish for Slowbro, so I'm gonna go for Bisharp. Now I did say Tangrowth for Slowbro, but um, and the reason I said that is because Tangrowth to hit KO's Mega Slowbro with I think 252 HP and defense with Bold Nature. So that's something to consider. Um, pretty sure it just kind of hurts Slowbro pretty bad. Um, so let's see. We do start off with Tangrowth. The only issue I see being Sableye using Will-O-Wisp. Um, so I'm going to go for Trick Room. And I'm actually really worried he's going to go for Will-O-Wisp. Uh, so I'm going to bring in Camerupt. Or he could go for Taunt. You know what? I'm still going to stay in. I'm going to go for Power Whip on the Slowbro. Let's hope he's maybe going to taunt us, because he doesn't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Sometimes I just don't have the best of ideas. Sometimes I have the worst of ideas. Uh, he does protect. That's not good. And he does go for will o -Wisp. I was right. I was right. I really should have just gone with what my gut said. Really should have gone for that. But that's fine. Um, we could probably take out this dude relatively easily with draining kiss and I, I actually updated this um, this move set uh, so I'm gonna go for draining kiss on the Sableye so now I have helping hand and draining kiss over light screen and moonblast I don't know if I really want to protect on aromatisse I, I really don't know yet but we'll see so I'm gonna I'm just gonna stay in with Tangrowth I'm gonna go for another power up I could have gone for knockoff actually mm, that would have been a better idea no he actually goes for Blaziken so that it's probably his mega. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, wow! I spoke way too soon. Uh, he goes for the Mega Sableye here, which is an interesting choice. Uh, I don't really know why you'd run Mega Sableye um, on this team, particularly. That does good damage, considering it's Draining Kiss. Uh, let's see how much this does. This is going to do very little, I think. Oh, that does a lot more than I thought it would. Um, and he goes for Foul Play? 
but you burned me. That I don't understand. Um, well, I'm going to go for Draining Kiss again. I'm not really too concerned about the Blaziken. Um, and I think I'll go into... Well, you know what? I'm going to sack... I'm going to sack him off, I think. Well... That's the thing. I don't know if I really want to. I'm going to knock off the Blaziken. Let's just get rid of its item. Um, he's going to protect there. Yeah, knock off probably would have been a better idea. Um... Protected itself, knock off. Let's see what he has. Maybe he has like life orb or something like that. It's possible. Uh, Pasho Berry. What is Pasho? And who are you? F Why are you flare blitzing my aromatisse? I guess you predicted a switch out. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. That That's a very odd choice. Um, I kind of think I want to take out this thing. Uh, knock off did some decent damage. Uh, nah, I'm gonna drain and kiss the Sableye so I can get my HP back. And I'm going to... I'm gonna power... I don't want power up to miss. I'm gonna poison jab. Maybe we can get a poison. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but I'm just gonna drain and kiss so I can get my HP back. Ooh, that did a little bit more than last time. Got a high roll on that one. Yeah, there we go. There's my HP back. Um, and he goes for foul play. That actually might take out my, uh, tank growth. No, you're going to attack a Romatisse. Is he just predicting me to switch out? Because, I mean, that's fair enough, but... Yeah, we got the poison. I was fishing for that. I was fishing for that. And he goes for Flare Blitz onto the Romatisse again. I don't know why he f foul played me. That was a bizarre choice. Uh, and he goes down. So the poison really didn't matter. I was just fishing for it, just in case. You never know. Um, yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and I just still have a burned Tangrowth left. I'm just really trying to uh, keep everything alive so I can kind of... I didn't want to switch in, camera up, and take like a Foul Play or a Flare Blitz. I knew I could probably take it, but it wasn't worth it to me. Because uh, Slowbro's not very good, specially. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I'd rather... I'm going to just double attack the uh, Slowbro. I'd rather do that because he's probably going to protect with the Sableye. I'm predicting that, at least. Um, I'm definitely predicting him to protect with the Sableye, because Aromatis will take him out with a Draining Kiss, and I will outspeed him, because he doesn't have Prankster anymore. So, that's what I'm predicting. He predicts with Slowbro! Please tell me you protected with Sableye as well. No. Damn it. Uh, no, he goes for Recover instead. Okay, so that's still not a big deal. Still not a big deal. Um, although, actually, it kind of is. We'll see if Trick Room goes out this turn. Yeah, damn it. Who did I bring? I brought Bisharp. Oh, that's not good. Um, damn it. I'm gonna Drain and Kiss Sableye, I think. And Power Up Slowbro again, maybe. Um, I probably should- Oh no, I should've gone for Trick Room! What am I doing? Damn it, I really needed to go for Trick Room there. Oh, I'm not playing well today. I am not playing well today. That's fine, though. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Um, yep, I really should have gone for Trick Room there. Although, he's probably going to, like, scald my Aromatis. No, he's going to slack off. Why? Oh, man. Okay, so that's not good. Um... <sighs> I guess, yeah, you know what? That's probably my best bet. I go into camera up here. Because he's probably going to want to try and take out the camera up with Scald. Um, and this way I can get my Trick Room up, I think. I don't think Foul Play will take me out. Uh, so I'm going to Mega Evolve. I'm going to Protect. And we're going to try something. Uh, Heat Wave probably won't take out the Slowbro, but Earth Power might. It's possible. I think I've done it before where I one-shot a Slowbro. So I want to see if I can do it again. Pretty sure it was a Slowbro. Okay, so he protects. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Foul play should not take me out. Foul play should not take me out. Foul play should not take me out of zero attack, and I resist it. Foul play. Okay, good. 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 Oh, thank God. Um, and Sableye is just a wealth of HP, but I'm going to actually... Um, yeah, I'm going to attack Sableye because I want the HP back. I'm going to Earth Power the Slowbro because I think it should take it out. I don't really know. I don't think so. Don't really know. 
But now that I have Bisharp, I kind of need to worry about Sableye too, because we know it has will o -Wisp. Earth Power, please. Ooh, close. Okay, so it was Helping Hand boosted, so that's not good. That does mean I will go down this turn to Slowbro. Sableye uses Foul Play onto the Camerupt. That does a lot more. Oh, wait, what? You go for Ice Beam? You fishing for a, a... What? Okay, um, I'm gonna go for Draining Kiss on Slowbro, and I'm gonna go for Heat Wave. Uh, this way the Slowbro is pretty much guaranteed to go down, and the Sableye is also guaranteed to go down. So he actually protects, that's totally fine by me, um, totally fine with that. Uh, we'll still hopefully hit the Slowbro, I do still hopefully hit the Slowbro. That does not take it out, that's why I double attacked it. Hmm. And this is why I like Aromatisse now. Uh, I loved it before, and now I love it even more. Because Draining Kiss, I don't think it got it last in, in um, X and Y. Draining Kiss is so useful. It's so useful because it doesn't have recovery on its own. Uh, it could get Wish, I guess. That, that is a possibility, but uh, it doesn't have it on its own. So I really do like having Draining Kiss. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Draining Kiss the Greninja. I'm going to go for another Heat Wave. Um, that should take out the Sableye. And with the combination of the Draining Kiss, it should take out the Greninja. I think. As long as we don't miss, there's always that option. Because if we don't take out the Grand Ninja this turn, we will lose our camera. But we do have the Bisharp, so it's not the end of the world. Um, that does a decent chunk to that Grand Ninja, so I'm pretty happy with that so far. Draining Kiss, please. Yes, alright. And that's why he should not have attacked... Why he should have attacked the Aromatisse instead of trying to take out the camera. That's why I love this combo. Such a power combo. I love it. All right, so that's the first battle, and we won. Haha, I love this team. Awesome. Uh, now we go into another battle. Yes. No, I don't want to save. Um, I love Camera Up. Camera Up is awesome. It's so much power. Oh my god. Pair it up with like a Mega Charizard Y, and you can't mega so never mind um but <laughs> i guess it still stays you know the sun would just help it so much exponentially you know exponentially so i'm gonna hit look for a trainer and we're hopefully gonna get a trainer but yeah you know um stuff happens you know like a couple of episodes ago we had that uh gengar whimsicott combo you know losing you do learn, and that's why I take some risks in some of the attacks. I really like to see how well I can take an attack. Like the Mega Gengar Shadow Ball, I really need to know if I can take that, you know? Um, I, obviously, I can calc, but, you know, the, the scores here don't count for anything. They're just ego boosts, so, I mean, as much as I like my ego boosted, it's not the end of the world if I don't. You catch my drift? Uh, it's not the end of the world if I don't, you know, get something going. Uh, so... It's always those things that it's just nice to play and figure out what you can do better. So, let's see. We've got Sceptile, Gyarados, uh, Tarakion, Bisharp, Thunderous, and Greninja. I think Aromatisse is my best bet, but he might start off with the uh, Bisharp. I don't think I can survive Bisharp. Um, I'm not going to start off with Camera Up because he has a lot of... Th well, not a lot of things. He has two things that can beat me. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm actually... You know what? I could probably start off with Kofagrigus as well. I think Kofagrigus is a good lead against this team, actually. Um, and I'm going to bring Camera up in the back to hopefully switch into an Iron Head or a Thunderbolt. And I think Crawdon... Nah, not Crawdon. I think Bisharp might actually... No, uh, I don't know. Who who would be better? Tangrowth? Tangrowth cannot really hit anything. Although, no, it can hit a, a lot of things. So, yeah, I'm going to go for Tangrowth. Tangrowth does hit a lot of things really hard. I think it survives a Greninja Ice Beam. I think. Something to test. Something to calc. Something to possibly think of. Well, we'll see. You know, we'll see what he starts off with. Um, if he starts off with, like, not Bisharp, we will probably get Trick him up with our uh, Aromatisse. Um, no, he starts off with Greninja and Thunderous, so I'm f perfectly fine with that. I start off with Aromatisse and Kofagrigus. Perfectly fine. Um, I will go for trick room with my aromatisse and i will go for 
I'm going to Shadow Ball Thunderous. I think that, well, mm, why are you Thunder Waving me? Why do you have to just Thunder Wave everything? It goes for U-Turn. Okay, hello. That was weird. Who are you U-Turn? Yeah, uh, Romatisse. Okay. You're just... Tr this is so weird. Why would you Thunder Wave a team that is 150,000% Trick Room? You're just going for the hacks there. I was just... I was hoping he was one of those opponents that was just like, Oh, look, it's a Trick Room setter. I'm gonna go for uh, Taunt. I love when they do that. I love it. Um, so yeah, he lowers my attack, not that it really does anything, and I go for Shadow Ball, and that should actually do some decent damage. That does not so de decent damage, but we do get that Trick Room off. Yeah. But we do get that special attack drop, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn the Gyarados, and I'm gonna Drain and Kiss the Thunderous. Now, he's a bulky Thunderous. I don't have to switch out. I don't, I don't need to. Uh, Draining Kiss on the Thunderous, and Will-O-Wisp on the Gyarados. I think it might be a Mega Gyarados. No. Okay, so he goes for Taunt. Perfect. No, he's not Mega Gyarados. I don't know why he would not Taunt the first turn when that was clearly going to happen. I, that made no sense to me, but whatever. Um, will -O This is why Aromatis is my, one of my favorite Pokemon. I love the Aroma Veil ability. So we'll see what he did. I'm thinking Crunch. No, he goes for Dragon Dance. What the hell? Why? Okay, I, I still have a uh, Tangrowth in the back, so regardless, you know, I, I can't, as long as he doesn't have, like, Ice Fang, I can still handle that Gyarados really well. Um, even if it had Bounce, I think I can, well, no, Bounce is Stab. Ice Fang I could probably take, Bounce I can't, but I don't think he's going to have Bounce. Um, so I'm going to Drain and Kiss the Thunderous again, I have no reason not to. I'm going to Shadow Ball the Gyarados again, I have no reason not to. He's going to continuously spam Thunder Wave, I think it's kind of a joke that he's relying on Thunder Wave to try and beat me. Um, but thankfully this should take him out. No, we're so close. Uh, but thankfully we don't, you know, succumb to that, thankfully. Thank the Lord. Um, he does go for Waterfall. Please tell me you go... Okay, you're gonna go into a Rumtease. That's fine by me. Completely fine by me. That does nothing. Um, I'm gonna Drain Kiss the, uh, Thunderous again. Hopefully, you know, hopefully you don't get stupid, uh, stupid hacks. Because he's literally only spamming it for the hacks. There's no reason to Thunder Wave a, uh, Trick Room Pokemon. <laughs> Except for hoping for a 25% chance, I think it's 25, no, it's probably less than that. Um, a slight chance of paralysis. That makes no sense. It, that's why you don't rely on those kinds of strategies. Um, so we do get the Shadow Ball off, that should do some decent damage. Actually, it'll probably kill with the burn. Yeah, it will kill with the burn. So he goes for Ice Fang again, trying to go for Hex, but, I, well, I guess not because... I'm already paralyzed, so thanks for the paraly paralysis. <sighs> I, I didn't understand that those plays at all. Um, I still have Trick Room up, so I'm, I'm still in a good position. Uh, and I didn't understand the whole, I'm going to switch out now. You know? uh, so I think he's probably going to Mega Evolve with the Sceptile, even if he doesn't, it's not the end of the world. I'm going, going to Draining Kiss the... Um, Draining Kiss the Greninja, and I'm going to will Shadow Ball the Sceptile. I think it's going to be special. Um, he does Mega Evolve. Now, I could have gone for Draining Kiss there, but I think Greninja is a bigger threat at the moment. Uh, so I'd rather do some damage to that first, and then kind of deal with the Sceptile. Um, yeah, and, and plus he Protect. I didn't see Protect coming, but uh, that worked out well in my favor. Um, and I get paralyzed, so it really didn't matter. Uh, but I do get the Draining Kiss off, so thank the Lord. Wow, that does more than half. Sweet! Moonblast probably would have killed, but I'm fine with the lack of kill. Um, he does go for Dark Pulse, so that's pro Actually, you know what? I don't know if this will take me out, and especially if he targets the Aromatis. Um, oh! Oh, beautiful! Okay, I dig. I'm gonna go for Trick Room here, because I can. And um, I'm gonna go for Shadow Ball, just in case, but I'm not gonna switch out. There's no reason to. Um... What? Did he predict to switch out? No? Okay, he goes for Aromatisse. Okay. He just... I guess that's that's his choice there. Fair enough, I, s I sh just don't get paralyzed, my friend. Yes! I love you. Alright, who did I bring? Did I bring camera up? I think I brought camera up. I brought camera up! We're going for Earth Power. 
Do you don't want to know why we're going for Earth Power? So don't goddamn miss my drain, my um, Earth Power, because I want to my Heat Wave. Uh, I want to. I need to make sure I can take out the Greninja first, because that Greninja can and will destroy me. Oh, thank God. Okay, so because I have Aromatis, Aromatis will destroy Sceptile, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, and he can attack me as much as you want, as long as I can still get Draining Kisses off. I'm good. Um, so he does protect here. Um, I didn't Heat Wave though, right? Yeah, I drain, drain and kissed it. Uh, and Earth Power shall take out this Greninja. I have no cool, no doubt about it. So boom goes the Dynamite, and he goes down. Hallelujah! And that should be game. This is why I love this team. That should be game. I'm gonna go for Heat Wave. Um, I mean, outside of Dragon Pulse, I don't think Dragon Pulse one hit KOs my camera up. They really shouldn't really shouldn't and that was the second battle right so yeah all right heat wave goes off and it takes it out definitely it's neutral but it's definitely gonna take it out so thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and i hope to see you guys in the next episode peace